Today's question is around emotional eating. It's definitely a thing and a lot of people reach for food either when they're depressed or stressed out, but also when they're really happy and celebrating. So a lot of the time this is a learned response from childhood. For example, say when you were little and you fell over, hurt yourself or you got upset about something and your parent or your carer gave you a lollipop or an ice cream, took you through McDonald's to cheer you up. It's really common. Or if you won something, you achieved something, uh, top of the class, and your parent or carer took you out for ice cream or a lollipop as a celebration. What happens is that excites a neurotransmitter called dopamine, and that is the reward system part of the brain. It sends out neurotransmitters to our nervous system and it makes us feel good. So we are constantly seeking that feel good response or that reward system response. And then we start to associate food with if I feel down or if I feel stressed or if I've done something good, then I'm going to eat that cake, eat that junk food because it makes me feel good. We might not think of it like that, but that's how our brain is associating. The key then is to do a couple of things. A, sometimes it's not that thing that you're eating that your brain is seeking. It's just the activity of eating. So even though you might associate the junk food with feeling good, it's actually just eating something. So you can switch what you're eating out to something healthier. Now remember, if you choose high fat, high protein over high carbohydrate, then it's gonna have less sugar content in it. And in fact, then that's gonna give you a more balanced level of the neurotransmitted dopamine then if you were to choose something high carbohydrate or high sugar, then you're going to get this massive spike in dopamine. And then that will be followed with a low or a trough. In turn, then you're going to be seeking that sugar hit much sooner. So one of the keys is to choose something with high fat. So one of my go-tos is like celery with peanut butter or even apple with peanut butter. Um, so that I feel like I'm getting something a little bit sweet, but it actually has good fat content. Also, you could swap out the eating for an activity. So if you know that you enjoy doing something or anything that finds you joy, is also gonna give you a dopamine hit. So you could choose something like reading, going for a bike ride, going for a walk, um, meditating, breath work, Pilates, yoga, that type of thing. Sometimes you don't have that long. So sometimes you know, we go to the fridge because it's a quick fix. So it might sound crazy, but try instead of going to the fridge or tell yourself each time I get up to go to the fridge, then I have to do, i.e. 10 squats or 10 push-ups or 10 star jumps. And then try and replace that food eating with the activity. So first of all, you use it as a payoff. So at least you're doing an activity before you eat and you're choosing something that is better for you. But eventually you will get the same dopamine hit by doing the activity because anything that induces energy also gives us the dopamine hit, which is why when we go to Pilates, go for a walk or go to the gym, it makes us feel really good. So there's a couple of things that you could consider doing rather than reaching for the food that isn't good for you. But if you know why it's happening, then quite often you can then talk yourself through and curb that activity or curb that um, habit. I hope that helps.